Hello again. This is the last in my little warm-up series for the summer. Um, so this one's going to do some scales, and we're going to start with five-note scales. Five-note scales are a great way to get to know new keys, uh, new key signatures, get to expand range very gradually. Works real well. You can do it on the mouthpiece, on the horn. I'm going to go ahead and start on the horn. This first exercise, you, I'm starting on our F or B flat do. I'm going to play a five-note scale. <laughs> Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. A nice smooth sound all the way through. Let's do that one more time. Think about moving the air through the notes, not at each one. Now we're going to go up a half step, so we're starting on F sharp. Don't skip the hard keys. G. A flat. I had a little hitch on that one, so at the top I want to do this on my mouthpiece first. It can be helpful to finger as you buzz to keep that kinesthetic sense of linking the, the mouthpiece with the horn. And back on the horn, smooth. If I'm happy with that, then I'm going to go up some more. B flat. And some of you, as you get to the top of the staff, you may be getting a little... And if you feel real tight up there, Again, think about the air, lead out to your target. Maybe do it on the mouthpiece. Lead with the air. You don't have to blow hard to play high, you just have to control it. Reach out to the high note. Keep the air moving as you go up into the higher range. It's about forward motion, not pushing harder. It's not playing high doesn't have to be a physical exercise. Okay, now we're going to go the other way. We're going to start on uh, our our written middle C concert F, and we're going to go down by half steps again in five note scales. This is written out on the uh, five note scale page in your exercise manual. Each one of these I'm going to slur up, uh, slur down, slur up, and then tongue the final descent. This is a half step down starting on B. Ready? I'm going down to B flat. So on here is starting on A, going down to D. Ready? You can just keep going down, down as low as you're comfortable. Remember to keep the corners engaged as we drop. Let the jaw and the tongue drop. Say O oh, or Ah oh, as we get down to that lower range for a nice smooth sound. Now the other thing that you can do is simply play your full major scales. I'm going to start with C major scale. So we're going to start there on our middle C, concert F. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Play that with me. Ready? And now you can mix it up. We're going to start on do, and we're going to skip up one interval at a time. This is on your anchor note interval page in your warm-up exercises. Do, re, do, mi, do, fa, and so on.
same thing in a different key. Let's go to G do. So this is our D. We'll play just the scale first. Remember this key is F sharp and C sharp, everything else natural. Play that with me again. Starting on D. And you can come up with your own variations. You do the same thing starting on Do and do it descending. Um, once you get done doing scales, I mean, by this point you're pretty well warmed up. Honestly, after doing the long tones, you should be pretty well warmed up in terms of having the lips feeling, you know, warm and, and comfortable and flexible. Um, after this, go do something fun. You know, pull out some of the music that you have that you haven't worked on in a while. Pull out honor band audition stuff that you're working on for the fall. Make up something by ear. Figure out a tune that you know that you listened to on the radio yesterday. See if you can figure it out by ear on your horn. Do something fun and musical and play beautifully. And have a great summer. Bye.